Wellington's new trains are causing controversy again, this time because of how they sound. Residents along the Johnsonville line, where they've just come into service, say they're unbearably noisy and they want to know why. Emma Jolliffe reports. This is the sound that's been driving some residents in the Wellington suburb of Nio nuts. It's the sound of the new Matangi trains which came into service on this Johnsonville line less than two weeks ago. Really noisy. I mean, they come through, they're, they're screeching really, really loudly. So um, you got a little bit of that from the old trains, but nothing like this. Graham Patterson says they were very quiet during test runs, but now the noise levels changed dramatically. It's annoying that this, it, they've spent so much money and yet it, they are so intrusive. You know, I've got windows that, um, and doors that open out onto, onto a decking area which faces that direction, it's facing the north, but um, you just don't want to have the doors open. They're the first new trains on the Johnsonville line in 60 years, part of the fleet of 48 new trains for the Wellington area, which cost $235 million. $17 million was also spent upgrading the Johnsonville line. And it's not just the screeching. The regional council says it and Kiwi Rail are looking into concerns about the sound of the horn on the Matangi trains. I mean, there must be people all, all up the, the railway line that are, um, you know, getting sick of this. We want an explanation, I think, as to, as to why they are so noisy. Kiwi Rail says it's an emerging issue and they're monitoring the situation. Wellington City Council confirmed it's had complaints about the noise from the new trains, but told 3 News there's an exemption for noise from road and rail under the Resource Management Act. However, it said it would meet with Kiwi Rail and the Greater Wellington Regional Council this week to see if the matter can be resolved. Emma Jolliffe, 3 News.